Hello everyone, welcome back to another Gravitine video and today I'm going to tell you whether or not you should buy Gravitine Tactics Minus Front in 2021. So before we get started, go ahead and leave a comment down below on the next video you guys would like to see. I'm always interested in, in knowing what you guys want to see. I know a lot of people want me to do World War II playthroughs. I also have a bunch of tutorials down as well on the playlist. Check those, Check that out, but now let's get started in the video. So right here, why, like the number one reason why you should buy Gravitine Tactics in 2021, I mean really any at all, is the developers is just steady content. Like they keep making steady content three, four, five times a year, like cheaply priced like five to seven dollars, sometimes 13 if it's more. And it's full of just nothing but like amazing gameplay like this. Like we're being approached by these tanks I mean, they're w walking right up on our artillery battery, so we can even like see w whether or not these guys can hit them, and they can't even fire at them yet. Well, that's a bummer. We got this guy, and these guys are walking right into this ambush, and just like that, like look at that stuff. Like this is some of like the high quality, like some of the ooh, best gameplay you're gonna see. Like especially if you're a big fan of World War II games. And World War II tactics with like less micro and a huge and a whole bunch of macro management. This is the game for you. This is definitely by far. I mean, look at what this enemy is doing. They're advancing under our smoke mortars through our anti tank guns while providing mortar fire cover while our troops are hunkered down inside this town that they need to capture. Like, that is just some. I don't know what this commander is doing. He's like lost his mind. But another thing to like think of is it's more than a real-time strategy or real-time tactics game. It's more of a World War II simulator. So what that means is you're going to have all of these DLCs with different types of like Eastern Front missions and some like um, other campaigns but they're going to focus more on how the actual battle played out so that's something you really need to take into context when you play this game is that it's not so much about beating the enemy sometimes it's about just trying to survive like how like what's the best way we have a whole we have three anti-tank guns suppressing mortar fire and two columns of tanks attacking our what hundred troops so sometimes it's about trying to survive as long as you can with what you have so you can live to fight the next battle so why this battle right here is unique is because our AT guns they can they have to face uphill while the tanks have a clear height advantage in order and they can just sh rain fire down upon us our commanders lost his mind and look ooh, this guy's actually like tearing up those guys over there so that's one of the major reasons. If you're definitely like a, a person who enjoys World War II like history or gameplay or games in general, Gravitine Tactics is 100% for you. You're going to learn all about the Eastern Front, all about different troops, different tanks, different armor penetration values, all kinds of r real like in-depth stuff while having like an amazing time playing like a fun World War II simulator. And one of the better parts about it that I don't see a lot of people use is what I use a lot is the campaign, um, the battle builder. Oh my God, look at that column of tanks. So like our mission right here is like not like, obviously we are not going to be able to eliminate seven, like seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tanks with three anti-tank guns that have to fire up a hill at the enemy. Like that's just not something we're going to be able to do. But I mean, we could try our best and try and think our way out of it. So that's one of the major, major reasons why I would suggest buying this game in 2020 is just continued developer support and just overall just like some fantastic gameplay. Like absolutely some of the best World War II simulation and strategy you're going to experience. And then, so that brings me on to like my next point is look at this man like look at this battle over here like these guys like we're like hey we got and like like everyone's retreating 
which is perfectly fine. Like we want, we want to live to fight our next battle, which we could easily do. Like we're not going to hold this position. Um, so if you're looking for like a game that's going to be like real gritty, real tactically deep, and a lot of fun, a lot of customizable options, a lot of continued developer support, a lot of continued DLC, and just overall like a good immersive, like, I mean, look at this experience, a huge, like deeply immersive experience is this is by far one of the games like you want to pick up just to play, like just to, like even even if you're just not even that much of a World War II person, like, I mean, look at some of this gameplay we're, like, capturing right now. Like, these tanks are just firing down on our, oh, and our, our AA, our anti-tank guns are firing back. And so, a, what a lot, so, a few reasons why they capture the point. Why you shouldn't buy this game, like, I'm not going to make this all one-sided. Oh, he surrendered. Um, is... People, their biggest complaint, obviously, is just how god awful like they think the UI is. When in reality, the UI is by far like one of the most simple, least complex things you can do. I mean, it's literally played with just the right click and a few buttons. Like honestly, I set this huge battle up beforehand without doing much troop movement and you've saw me maybe make like what four like two three four moves which is god they, they are like being merciless this is like a prime example of like a, how to assault a town so really if i wanted to do anything it's all based off of this little what's this three six octagon don't quote me and really you just would click oops well they're gonna move we're gonna activate our retreat but um it's really simple to use. A lot of people, that was really cool. Like overblow that how complicated the UI is to use and it's really not that bad. Um, another thing would be like you have to get used to the World War II simulation aspect of it and the um, actual history that takes part. Like there's no way like in a million years we were gonna win this fight. Like not even. Like I mean we had like three t anti-tank guns. So you got to understand that sometimes it's more about recreating the battles and fighting an uphill battle and surviving to fight another day and just relive that moment in history like as it was on the eastern front like sometimes the russians lose sometimes the germans win um that's one thing also understand it's not a lot of micro like you're not going to be making a lot of adjustments to your troops like generally you're going to put them in a position if you're attacking or if you're defending they're going to hold that position um if you need to pull your tanks out and move them to a different position if you need your troops to hold a different de defensive position it's a lot of maybe like 10 20 moves a game so understand it's a lot of macro and not a lot of micro so it's a lot of big overview of what what's going on and how to manage a battle also the more you play it the more in-depth and secrets and tips and tricks and like ideas you can find and create your own battles and like understand like armor penetration values it's really deep in that aspect also one of the last things i would say is the command the ai like the ai like if we told these guys right here see how they're suppressed retreat and this commander's given up they're over here they're gonna their job is they want to survive so if we start telling them to charge headlong into this battle in this state they're they're not gonna listen to you so that's one thing a lot of people are not used to is the ai not listening to the the player or the user so there's times where the ai is like no you're you're giving me a bunch of bad ideas i want to survive peace out man i'm out see like look look how they're all like getting ready to retreat they've like all given up this whole front which is the correct thing to do i mean in this circumstance like would you sit there and like listen to your commander be like hey take on this take on these 14 tanks and this huge wave of enemy who are attacking you under mortar fire they're not going to run off to their death so that's something people need to get used to but other than that, I would definitely say this is a game if you have any sort of 
inclination to play real-time tactics that are like beautiful, gorgeous, and simulate World War II history. This is definitely one of the games. I will highly, highly, highly recommend this game to anyone who enjoys any form of real-time strategy or tactics. And I have a whole list of videos on how to play it, on what to do, how to play certain campaigns, tips, tricks, anything, you're, anything you desire. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go with that. Highly recommend it if you enjoy real-time strategies. Make sure you guys subscribe, leave a like, and have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. Peace out, guys.